What's up guys, welcome back to DCA. Today what we're gonna do is take a look at Solana. We're gonna compare Solana to Ethereum back in 2017. We're going to see just how well Solana has done in this cycle and how it compares to what Ethereum did back then. So first things first, let's take a look at Solana and where it stands on the DCA index. If you don't know what this is, this is a risk model I've created, which helps to identify where a cryptocurrency may be overheated and in need of a pullback. So you can see it's actually done quite well for Solana thus far. So if we just bring this chart out, every time that you get above 80 and 90, approaching 100, it indicates that the crypto is more than likely nearing a pullback. Okay, so you can see here back in February, we reached this peak and we pulled back. Okay, we headed from around 17 all the way down to a low of around 12. Then later, we got up here in April to, you know, around a price of 48, you know, approaching 50. And from there, we moved sideways. There was a short term peak that, you know, lasted two days. It got up to 56. But from there, it pulled back all the way down to 22 and a low of 19. When it's down here, these are traditionally the best times to buy, and these are the best times to be selling. Now you can see, again, the beginning of September, the first or second week of September, we peaked, we got back into the 90s, 90 to 100 level, and sure enough, we were in need of a pullback. So we went from a high of around 215 all the way down to a low of 117, okay? And now we have been in this consolidation channel ever since the first week of February, and we're hitting resistance right now and trying to break through, trying to break through this level right at around 215 or so. Now, the way that we're going to do this, relating the Solana move during this cycle to the Ethereum cycle is by defining um, where the bull market has started for both of these runs. And to do that, we're going to use a non-arbitrary measure. We're going to go from where Bitcoin broke above its 21, or I'm sorry, its 20 week moving average. Now, Bitcoin did that on this cycle on 429, 2020. Okay, so April 29th. It has been 551 days since that time. So then we'll go back to the 2017 cycle. Bitcoin broke above there on October 14th, 2015. And 551 days later, it was 417 2017 okay so that's 551 days so we're going to look at ethereum from this day and compare it to solana starting on this day first things first let's measure the move that solana has made in that time and so you know like we said we're going from 429 up to today 551 days and it has made approximately a 27,000 percent gain in that time. Then we'll come over to Ethereum and look at what Ethereum has done in that same amount of time. So in 551 days, Solana has actually significantly outperformed Ethereum. Solana is up 27,000% or so in that time frame, while Ethereum was only up 10,500% in that time frame. Now, I will say shortly thereafter, Ethereum went on to match approximately where Solana is at at the moment. And when I say shortly, I mean only 30 days later, about 33 days later, Ethereum went up an additional approximately 17,000% or so. Okay, so all in all, the two are in a very similar place in terms of you know, where they were at in this cycle. Ethereum made a large move just 30 days later, so at 584 days to sort of match right where Solana is at now. So the way that we're going to compare this then is by looking at logarithmic regression bands. And what I've done here is, this is the Ethereum logarithmic regression band curve and on top of it, I've normalized the price of Solana, okay, to match the percentage gain. 
So because, you know, the prices back at the very start of the run were slightly different, right? Every currency has, depending on <clears throat> where its starting price is, will have a slightly different price. So I've normalized the price of Solana. The location where these two are at is actually quite similar. Now, like we said, Ethereum went on a run 30 days later. So if you just, if we tread it sideways for 30 more days, Solana would be exactly where Ethereum was at this time. Back in the beginning, Ethereum was outperforming Solana for about the first 300 days of the cycle. From 300 days until now, Solana caught up to where Ethereum was and is now was outperforming it for quite some time. But Ethereum, right around the same amount of time, you can see at exactly right around 440 days or so, they both just started this parabolic move. Okay, there was some sideways movement, which sort of matched Solana's sideways movement. And then it continued its parabolic run. So that begs the question, will Solana continue to demonstrate a similar behavior to what Ethereum did back in 2017? Because at the moment, they are essentially mirroring one another. You know, 30 days difference over a course of of um, you know a pr close to 600 days isn't that much it's nothing in fact so this is on trading view and we have these same logarithmic regression bands and what we're going to do now is look over this time frame okay so this is where solana is at the moment with a normalized price to relate it to ethereum and you can see the same thing we just showed now this is where Solana, or I'm sorry, Ethereum would have reached being up around 30,000% like Solana is right now. So just 33 days later. So if we bring that move over here, you can see it's essentially, there's this gap where there's a price differential, but other than that, they've made a very similar move. And you can see from here, Ethereum continues on and goes from a price of around $200 up to its peak at around $1,400, okay? So that time frame, if you're wondering, was 233 days. So for Ethereum or for Solana to continue this move and to match the move that Ethereum made, if it were to do that, that would be another 233 days plus, so it would be a total of 267 days. So that would imply the market cycle needs to continue 267 more days if Solana were to continue matching Ethereum's price move. I think there's a lot of corollaries and there's you know no definite indication that the market cycle is coming to an end in the short term. You know, I don't think it's likely that the market cycle lasts in another 267 days, but I could definitely see it going maybe six more months or so. And like we've said, Solana is currently 30 days or so ahead of where Ethereum was. So who's to say that that trend won't continue and that Solana will continue to outperform the pace at which Ethereum reached in 2017? You know, there's a lot of similarities between the two. Um, you know, Ethereum's trying to move into the type of network that Solana is now, a proof of work, or I'm sorry, a proof of stake network. Uh, you know, there's obvious differences, but I think there's a lot of things to be bullish with regards to Solana. Some of this is definitely, it's definitely um, speculation, but I, you know, just looking at the charts, I think there's a lot to, to you know, say that these are quite similar. They're on the same logarithmic regression band even that, you know, so if Solana is right here, Ethereum was right here 30 days later, okay? So Ethereum then went up two additional regression bands. If we did a similar type move for Solana, maybe it puts it up there eventually. And since this is a corrected price, that would actually be higher than $1,200. It would actually be closer to $1,600. Um, Cause remember I've normalized the price of Solana to match Ethereum, which we had to decrease the price of Solana, in other words.
Okay, so the last thing we'll do is look at the Solana BTC valuation. Look at Solana's move that it's made. Now look at the Ethereum BTC valuation. They look quite similar. Now, this is key here. Remember, back during this move, this is in June. This is the peak Ethereum BTC valuation, but it is not the peak Ethereum USD valuation. So the peak Ethereum USD valuation occurred right here in, on January 13th, 2018. So that begs the question, could we see something similar for Solana this cycle, where this is the peak Ethereum, or sorry, Solana to BTC valuation, but is in fact not the peak Solana to BTC valuation, which would indicate that Bitcoin still goes on a large run the rest of the year and actually outpaces some of the larger altcoins. So if we look, Ethereum USD was 373 at this point, okay? Ethereum USD was 1390 down here in January. And you can see that the Ethereum BTC valuation went from 0 0.1509 down to 0 0.0976. So in other words, the USD valuation went up 273%, or you, that was your profit would be 273%. But your Bitcoin, your Ethereum Bitcoin valuation fell 35%. In other words, Ethereum was outperformed by Bitcoin during this time. And remember that, guys, your... ETH USD valuation can rise while your ETH BTC valuation falls, okay? It's like comparing gold to silver. They can both go up in price, but if gold goes up in price more than silver, you would have been better ho holding gold. And that's all this is saying here. You would have been better holding Bitcoin than Ethereum from June until January. And, and you know, for what it's worth, if Solana went up 273% from here, that would put it somewhere at around $700 or so. So, you know, it's just something to watch for. I think it's definitely, I wouldn't say it's uh, out of the realm of possibilities. So, you know, like getting up to like $1,000 Solana, things like that, I think may be a little bold and, you know, a little optimistic, but, Who's to say, you know, if if Solana, if there's, you know, as much excitement about it as it seems there is, it's not out of the realm of possibilities. But, you know, if I had to put an upper limit that I would assign to it, I would say $700 would be a great price target where I would probably be exiting the market. But like I said, I'm not the guy trying to extract every last dollar out. So I would be DCAing my position out as it goes up. So I'd be slowly dollar cost averaging out of Solana as it was reaching 500, 600, 700. I'd be getting out of that position. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at, guys. And I think that's going to be it for this one. If you guys like this type of content, hit like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. If you are interested in the trading view indicators, head over to the Telegram channel and there's a Google Forms sign up sheet there and I will get them out to you as soon as possible. So that's it for this one, guys. And until next time, see you.